Hey guys, it's Baby Powder. I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi box gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Now, for today, I'm coming to you with a brand new farm. I've looked it up, I've tried to search everywhere. I cannot find anything on this farm, so I don't believe anybody else has discovered it yet. Uh, and, you know, I get asked after doing my volatile farms like volatile fire, volatile water. Baby powder, is there anywhere that I can farm volatile air? And my answer has always been the same. As far as I know, the only farm there is is to just run Vortex Pinnacle a bunch of times. Uh, I did, when I was trying to look for this farm to see if anybody else has covered it yet, I did find that there was a volatile air farm out there in Twilight Highlands. But with my experience, on my realms at least, volatile air has kind of been you know the least valuable as far as all the volatiles go uh one of them at least not the least uh, i think volta earth or something might be the least uh, or life um but it has been pretty low so i was like i don't want to just you know farm a bunch of elementals and you know get about the same amount of volatiles and it not really be worth doing the farm so how can i increase or find a farm that provides enough volatiles or enough you know other things like possibly transmog or something to increase the value enough to where it makes it worth actually doing the farm and i stumbled across a great farm last night so keep watching and we're gonna get into it right now all right guys now that we're here uh in mount hygel of all places this is where we're located we are located right here Kind of right down from the shrine of Goldrin. Let me blow this up for you guys. Uh, and it's right down along this this area right here, right where this like portal thing is. And uh, this is like where you come in at and stuff. Uh, whether you use your dream walk or whatever, so it's, it's not far that you have to travel. And as far as your setup goes, you have your main at like the this very first end that you will come to as you're coming over, and what, what you're doing is, like I, like I was saying, it's kind of like a mix because you're killing these howling guys for your volatile air, and then you're killing these twilight guys. So it's actually really easy with your macros because with the twilight guys, if you already have a macro for the Solithus farm, you can just use that one, which is what I'm doing. I'm just using my Solithus uh, farm macro. And then for the other guys, I'm just using a macro slash target uh, HOW for the the howling part in their name the first three letters and then slash cast sunfire and then slash use tiny treasure chest uh which i mean i can show you the macro right here right here see slash target h o w slash cast sunfire slash use tiny treasure chest and uh if you haven't got one for the select this farm it's just you know twi for the very first three letters of their name as well um but anyway, guys, the way the farm works is with your main anyway in this area. You just really have to sit here and spam both macros until you kill all the mobs in this area, including the ones behind this like little brigade thing here, which that one's kind of trolled off a little bit. So I do got to make sure I kill him. Normally he'll spawn to where I can reach him from right in that first little location. And then you want to come up to this area which actually he was way down here this time but normally he's up at the top and you just come right back to the spot right here so we'll go ahead and uh i'll make a couple flags here so skull to to right about here x as you saw i hit him all the way up on the hill and, and it's just like that and I mean, like I said, you just sit here until you kill all these mobs over there. And like you see, I, I reached them that time. And then you just make your way back to X, kill that mob, head on back. And you just do that for your minute, 45 seconds or whatever you decide to do. And then once that's done, uh, you just go ahead and loot all the mobs here. And then uh, make sure you loot the one up top because these are the ones that are actually giving you the volatile air. And then you go around to where all your potatoes are. And make sure while you're going to all the areas where your potatoes are located that you're using the keybind for your lootering on them so that they're looting as well 
and also make sure you have your potion of treasure finding on so that you're also getting those tiny treasure chests um and so your first one your first potato is right down below you right here where i have diamond as you see you were right up here and it's just right across from these little uh wagons or whatever they are and then your next potato is going to be right down here where triangle is right where all these little eggs are and you do have to watch out for this guy if you know you still have the mobs up here patrolling around um while you're doing your looting phase because they might push him back some it's done it happened a couple times to me only with that that one though and then you have your next one right here in front of the portal right here where square is where they're hitting all these mobs around here and then your last one's down here where circle is right before this last little barricade here and you the last mob that you can actually loot with your main just because of being out of range is this pack right here you can't go and loot any of those you're you're too out of range and uh, you don't get any loot from them but the reason why we're doing this farm as i've said is so we can actually get some volatile air and so we can you know possibly get some other items too that's why it's nice because the twilight mobs are in there which they drop some really nice items here's a few i'll go ahead and put up on the screen you can go look at those and uh you know see you see the value of those items now i don't i'm not really sure if we got any of those this time but we're getting ready to hit over and go over the loot here in just a second um but yeah it's definitely definitely something new to try and just you know see 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 how well you do you know and you get some volatiles now you don't get quite as many volatiles as you get with the other volatile farms um which i'll throw both of those volatile farms up at the top of the screen you can go click those and check those out if you want to go check some of those out um but you do it's nice because you get the volatiles and you get a lot more than you know if you're possibly just running you know vortex pinnacle or something and you also get some possible transmog from cattle that normally you don't see a lot of that up because you know not everybody's like throwing a whole bunch of you know transmog up from cata because they're mostly doing farms like volatiles with the cata stuff so if they're only farming the elementals they might not get all those items so anyway guys let's go ahead and cut the clip and actually see what i got for doing this for an hour all right guys so now that we've got all of our tunes together here and we went through and cleared out all the trash and everything let's go ahead and take a look at what we did get for doing this for an hour so first off i'm on my horde group so we are going to be going over my main tune and then what all the potatoes got uh together and, and add everything up at the end as they are on different realms and everything um but anyway guys this is my main uh and this is what they got we've got first off we got 231 of the volatile air now i know that's not a crazy amount like you usually see if i do like volatile fire or volatile water you know as they're like up to well they usually get what like 800 or some or something like that or maybe even a thousand with the whole group uh but still it's not bad for just the main um but like i said we're still getting a whole bunch of the other stuff we got all the other volatiles like 28 volatile fire uh 19 life 39 water 25 earth okay and then we've got of course pirate or an element anymore and all that comes from those you know little bags uh we've got a thousand and one hundred and thirteen of the ember silk cloth we've got all these you know lower value pieces of transmog decent sell rates decent value to sell but nothing really to go over then we have our higher pieces of transmog <clears throat> now i didn't actually get any of those nice blues that i kind of put up on the screen earlier but i did get these uh we got this one it's just a green hood uh it's you know 13k my realm 8k region nothing too crazy but uh then we got this axe almost 17k on my realm 14k region we've got uh this chest piece here 71k on my realm only 7k region though so it might be a little bit fake value but still you know not bad 7k we got this fist weapon almost 14k my realm and only actually only 3k region but still you know hey if it sells for that much on my realm uh, we got this mace here only 2k my realm, but uh, 11k region uh, We got this fist weapon. It's only showing a uh, 41k market value in my realm So it means there's none up right now and 19k region. 
Uh, we've got these blue um, hands right here. 14K market value. So again, not up on my realm right now. 6K region. We've got uh, these blue pants right here. Only 1300 my realm, but they do have uh, almost 16K region. So not bad there. Uh, and then the sword here, 40K my realm and 10K region. So let's go ahead and pull up our chat box and see what our total value of our bags is. And if we hit our macro, that's 319,169 gold. And you can even increase the value of this farm uh, by taking those other greens that you trashed and stuff that I trashed and everything and, and mail them over to your, your enchanter and disenchant them because those enchanting materials actually sell pretty good right now. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and switch over to the other group with all the loot from the potatoes, add that in and see what our total value is for the whole hour. All right, guys, so now that we're over here on our tomb with all the loot from the potatoes, let's go ahead and take a look at what all the potatoes gave us. Uh, so, of course, we don't have the other volatiles and things because I don't use, bother using potion and treasure finding. I don't do on the other volatile farms either uh, for the potatoes. So, But we did get 214 of the volatile air. So that gives us, uh, you know, over 400 uh volatile airs for the whole hour of farming this so it's still not bad when you're considering that we're mixing it up uh we got what 586 of the ember silk cloth on them so you really stock up a lot on that ember silk cloth if you need it uh then you know low value pieces of transmog again still not bad like you know but not great either um just not worth really covering and then our higher value transmog pieces. Now this axe right here, it's you know only about 3k my realm, but 20k region. Uh, this sword here, 18, almost 19k my realm, 31, almost 32k region. Then we got this sword, 85k my realm, 130, almost 136k region. So definitely not bad on that one. We got this bow here, 78k my realm. 60k region and a chest here that's only 6k my realm but 12k region so still not bad so let's go ahead and pull up our chat box on that one and see what our value is so we can see what our total value is so this one is at 222,239 gold for the hour so if we add that in oops Messed up there. That's definitely going to be way too much. Um, got to hit the plus button there. So let's go ahead and add it in now the right way. And that gives us a grand total of 541,408 gold. And, you know, that's not even considering possibly, you know, disenchanting those other, you know, re really low pieces of greens and stuff that, you know, you really wouldn't bother putting up on the auction house uh this is you know just everything that's left over after clearing all that stuff out uh so really i really think this is a great farm it's definitely worth giving it a try especially if you need the volatile airs and you want to use them for crafting yourself but you know you want to at least have some decent value out of the farm you know go try this one out get you some volatiles also get you some you know different type of transmog that you can possibly throw up on the auction house uh, and, and see see how it works for you. But I really enjoyed it. It was really a, a nice, you know, mixture. I, I like it where you can get multiple items. I really like farms where you can get a pet, you know, materials and transmog. But I'll settle for this as you get, you know, transmog and, you know, materials as well. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video on farming volatile airs out in M Mount Hygel. Uh, and, you know, 500... Uh, over 500,000 gold it's not bad uh so you know it could have even been higher if maybe we got some of those nice blues like i kind of you know showed up on the screen and everything um but still with with what we got i'm i'm really happy with this farm i you know i, I look forward to actually you know possibly trying it out on my stream which if you haven't checked out my stream yet uh i have started streaming on twitch now there's a link down below um and you know i have a schedule and everything up there you can go check that out and uh, catch me on there one time you know sometime and join in take one of my one of the spots of my potatoes and uh, join in on the farm if you like and possibly catch me doing this one 
Uh, and then, you know, also, you know, got the Discord. It's kind of brand new, but I'm trying to get some people in there so we can maybe get some multi box groups together. So, like, if you only have two accounts and then you have somebody that has three accounts, you can, you know, join together and do a farm together and everything. Um, and also, I have, uh, I want to try to get, you know, where we have some people with five man groups doing two five man groups, for some of the bigger farms, like possibly like Wild Vine or, or, or something like that. Uh, but anyway guys if you liked the video go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below also make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and also do not forget we have until the end of this month to hit 300 subs so i can give out that wow token we're almost there um i think we only have what nine or eight to go uh so yeah guys you know if if you have anybody you think that might want to see some of the content i'm putting out go ahead and reach out to them tell them you know go ahead and sub so I can give out that wow token uh, i really want to do that for you guys but anyway uh if there is any farms you'd like to see me try and uh post a video go ahead and leave a comment down below i'll check it out see if it works if it works i'll post a video but other than that guys that's all i have it's baby powder peace i'm out